Hi, my name is Lance Russell, and welcome to another episode of Health Forum. Tonight, we'll be discussing drug addiction. Uh, we have a young man with us who has gone through a terrible addiction to one of the most addictive drugs, cocaine. Not, not simply cocaine, but freebasing cocaine. Popularized by uh, Richard Pryor's accident a few years ago, where he had such a terrible time. Our guest this evening is Mr. Robert Hall, a former drug addict. Welcome, Robert. Thank you. Good to be here. Um, in a nutshell, uh, give us a little history of your uh, freebasing addiction. Well, about almost two years ago, uh, I was introduced to it. Uh, his father turned me on to it. Uh, we were doing some toot one night, and he said, uh, you ever smoke it? And I said, man, I know you could smoke it. And uh, he said, well, yeah, come on, I'll show you. So we went back there, and we, we fired up that pipe. And, uh, man, I tell you what, it's something you have to experience for yourself, the feeling, that rush to your head of, of basing. But, man, I was hooked. And uh, This was two years ago. Two years ago, and it just got worse and worse, and it kept building up. And I was doing it. It got to where that I was doing it every day, all day long. And it got the worst part of it at the end. I'd just stay in the house all day and base, man. Quite until a, I run out and then I go out. Quite an expensive habit. Oh, they clean me out, man. I'd work in down there uh, in Pegram, uh, just doing yard work and stuff, and uh, it'd clean me out, you know. And uh -huh. I got where I lost my job over it and everything, because I just sat in the house base all day long, man. And it, mm -hmm. it, it's rough on you. And finally, I had, to, I had to just get up and do something. I knew I was going nowhere. My life was just, you know, nothing except and basing. Exactly and, uh, what did you do? I went down there uh, to the rehab center down there in uh, Redstone Arsenal down there, and uh, I was down there in Alabama. And mm -hmm. uh, I was down there for about three weeks, and uh, I got off of stuff. And that I cleaned can, out, huh? I can tell you right now, I, I will not free base cocaine. I will not free, i tell you, because they give me something down there too. I mean, with all that treatment, they give me this right here, you can show it to you, to oh, you, uh, the audience there. It just, it helps me. I got one of these on my wall there, and I thought I might bring it down there and show you what that is there. It's uh, uh, some sort it's, of... It's a poster, I just keep there. poster. Uh, you know, just keep yeah. on the house. Yeah, it says, uh, let's, we can show it over here. It's, uh, it says, don't let it get to you. There it is, and big old it knocking on the door. And, and that's, it's, and it, it, what is it in your in case? In my case, it is free basing, but I do not free base cocaine anymore. Mm -hmm. I went through rehab, so I just something, uh. You're not letting it get to you anymore. I, no, huh? it don't get to me anymore. That's me up there in the window there, uh, looking down and not, not letting that door, uh, uh -huh. open up, cause, uh, you know, that's it says, that remember, love you. Must have been your counselor. That uh, was uh, one of, the, actually, that was from uh, a gift from one of the fellow uh, patients down there, and she's real nice. We we got we drank a little coffee together every now and then, every morning. Thank you. all Probably proud that you got presented that. I'll leave this with you because you might need that there. But anyway, you know, like I said, once I went through that rehab. Uh, I do not free base cocaine anymore. Gave it up entirely. Gave it up huh? entirely. And I will, you know, I will have a drink. I'll admit that. I'll, I'll have a drink, you know, but I will not free base cocaine because that's no longer part of my life. I, that's, you know, they just turn me around down there uh, in Redstone Arsenal down there at that treatment center. No more go. free base. No more free base. Now, like I said, I'll take a drink and I'm, I might even smoke a little reefer every now and then. I'll smoke a little reefer. But free base and cocaine, as far as that goes, I don't do it. Uh -huh. Now, I'll, I take a drink, you know, every now and then I'll, I'll have a drink, and I will, uh, I will smoke a little red. I'll do some toot now. I'll, I'll do a little toot, you know, if somebody give it to me, offers it to me. I mean, you know, you just, it's, it's polite if you don't. So I do a little toot if somebody offers it to me, but if I will not. I'll repeat, you know, I want you all all know this right now, because I went down there to the restaurant and that and, and treatment center. I will not free base cocaine. It's no longer part of my life. No, not drinking, I will have a drink. I will have a drink and I'll smoke some reefer. I'll smoke a couple of doobies a day or, you know, just to get you through the day. And I'll do a little toot every now and then. Yeah, I'll, I'll get about a half a G, you know, and just sit around and me and Sally, my girlfriend, will do a little toot. Uh, just, you know, for fun, you know, every now and then. Uh, and I'll tell you what, though, about that drink, I won't drink any tequila. Now, I might have a drink, but I won't drink tequila because last time I drank that tequila, I got wild on that stuff, and 
I beat up Sally, hit Sally, broke a car window out, and I won't do that anymore. But I, you know, that and freebase, and I will not freebase cocaine no more. Now I'll have a drink. I said I'll have a drink, and I'll smoke. Oh, I go through about a half ounce a week of a, a reefer. You know, well, I like to smoke reefer, and that's something I enjoy doing. But uh, uh, the freebase I don't do. But I'll do a little toot. I'll do some toot. Now we got a, we got about a well we got three or four grams last week had a big party and that's partying is a different thing. I will I I'll drink tequila about once or twice a year. I do I just do I, I about once or twice a year because I I love Sally and I don't like to beat her up but I, about once or twice you know once or twice a year I will do the tequila so for. 363 days a year, she's safe. But I'll tell you what, them two days I do that tequila, I'll tell you what, you better look out, because I'm going to go upside that head. But I will not. Free base cocaine, I'll tell you right now. I'll, I'll, I'll have a drink, and I'll even drink some, some tequila. I'll tell you what, Sally, if you watch it right now, tomorrow I'm going to drink some, and you're going to get an ass whooping, woman. Whoa, I'll tell you what. I'll smoke reefer. I'll do toot. I'll do, I'll do a, a, a block of that stuff. But I will not free base cocaine. Well, I won't. I will not free base cocaine. While I'm driving, I'll, if I'm riding in a motor vehicle, I will do a little bit. I'll do a little bit. I won't do it while I'm driving. If I'm behind the wheel of a vehicle, I will not free base cocaine. I'll tell you that right now. I won't free base cocaine. I won't do it. I'll, I'll have a drink. Well, I'll tell you what. If, if, if like if traffic stops or something, man, if it's serious, being, you know, if you're going to be there a while, I'll get out the pipe and I'll base a little bit. But I won't, I won't free base cocaine. If I'm moving, if I'm driving and the vehicle's moving, I will not do it then. Unless it's a special occasion, it's my birthday or something, then I will free base cocaine, but only, only then if it's my birthday. But I'll tell you one thing, I will not do it if I'm, if I'm kneeling at the altar, I will not free base cocaine. You, all you preachers.